If you've got recurrent UTIs, pain with sex, or incontinence, listen up. Marty Macri of the FDA was recently interviewed saying that the FDA is seriously considering changing the black box warning on vaginal estrogen. So let's backtrack. Throughout your life, you have hormone changes. So once you've delivered a baby, if you're on birth control, and primarily that perimenopause transition, and once you've hit menopause. And because of these hormonal changes, the skin in your vagina starts to thin and get dry. And so it's causing all of these issues. And there are proactive things that you can do to prevent these from happening. And one of the ways is vaginal estrogen, which is not systemically absorbed. In fact, this summer, urogynecologists and a bunch of other experts rewrote guidelines. And this whole syndrome is called genitourinary syndrome of menopause. Now it's not only in menopause that this happens. Like I said, there's other hormonal changes. But what's happened is the label on vaginal estrogen is the exact same as the estrogen that is systemically absorbed. So there was a hearing at the FDA where a bunch of experts were trying to educate the FDA on the negative implications of having the exact same warning on anything that is an estrogen product, regardless of whether it's systemically absorbed or not. Now, granted, not everyone We're not saying everyone has to be on this product, although a lot of people say women should be on it. There's other options like DHEA, et cetera. So it's always a conversation with your clinician, but even the guidelines say moisturizer is not the same as what vaginal estrogen and DHEA would do. So we shouldn't be suffering. For example, in elderly patients, recurrent UTIs is a significant reason why these women die. It is a big, big deal. And so it's wonderful that the FDA is seriously considering this change. Now, I know we're dealing with a government shutdown, and right now they're just saying they're seriously considering it. So stay tuned, but I also want you to be aware of these guidelines, and you are welcome to go online and look at the new GSM guidelines, print them out, and go to your doctor. Because what's also happening is because of this black box warning, a lot of clinicians, and also they don't know about the updated guidelines, are fearful of giving this to women. And so you shouldn't have to suffer. The experts in this area are saying vaginal estrogen is safe. Okay, so I just wanted to give you this update. Please spread the word. We should not be suffering when there are things we can do to prevent these issues.